when the game came out in 1993, I was a player. I started playing in 93. I was very into it. I was playing every single week. And then um, a magazine came out called The Duelist that was about the game. And I felt that the magazine really didn't address more serious play. So I wrote a letter to the magazine asking, I had an idea for a puzzle column, uh, sort of like a chess puzzle, but with magic. And, and you played the game mid-thing and you had to solve the, you know, win this turn was the idea. It was a puzzle. I think one of the things that magic does really well is that it adapts itself to what people want it to be, that the game is not one game, it's actually many games kind of sold in one package, and that depending on what you want magic to be, you can make it into that. Trading cards are very, very hard to make. And the reason is, you're constantly putting out new cards, so it's, sh it's, it's forever shifting. So you can't rest on your laurels. It's not like you can make it and then walk away. You have to constantly be, be adjusting it and making sure that you're not breaking anything. And it's very, very hard to do. The, the business model allows us to have a very big staff. You know, one of the things, for example, I get to right now, when I design a set, I spend a year doing advanced design, then I get to spend a year doing design, and then there's another year after that that development happens and a lot of work. So there's three years. Very few companies, very few games have the ability to be able to do something like that. And the, one of the problems is that if we turn Magic into a living card game, we would not have the resources. We would not have the ability to make the quality and the quantity that we do. A typical Magic player is all over the, all over the board because Magic can not adapt to what you want it to be. For example, we recently did a bunch of um, market surveys to figure out our audience, and we learned that 38% of our audience is female. Now, I think if you ask the average Magic player, that would shock them because they, they didn't think that is true. But one of the things we found is as Magic has grown, and we've tripled in the last five years, that we're getting more and more different types of people playing Magic. That, that just gaming in general has expanded. I think once upon a time that the, the idea of a gamer was a much more small subset and that now everybody, just like everybody goes to the movies, everybody is slowly getting involved in gaming. Gaming is just part of what life is. It's no longer this subset that some people do, it's something that everybody does. Here at the World Championship, we have people who want to play very serious competitive magic and there's an avenue to do that. We have 750,000 organized tournaments run every year. But if you want to play more casually, if you want to build a deck built around elves or you want to do something that's more fun and less competitive, Magic does that just as well.